started playing disc golf. I mean, you're an athletic guy. We've played basketball. We've done some other things together. Mm-hmm. What, what, what sort of uh, athletic endeavors, what, what kind of got your juices going before disc golf? Well, when I first started playing disc golf, I was really into golf. I've golfed, you know, four or five times a week. Um, I skateboarded also. I was involved with a lot of basketball leagues, stuff like that, volleyball leagues. I mean, like you said, just athletics in general really is what I've been about pretty much my whole life. So were you like a skateboard, like an X Games, like shredder guy, or did you just like, you know, drive down the sidewalk? No, I, I love skateboarding. Um, my brother's actually a professional BMXer, and, and back in the day was, you know, I could probably say he was the best dirt jumper, like BMX in Arizona. Oh, wow. And so I used to go to, like, watch him compete in tournaments and stuff, and instead of riding a bike like him, I decided to pick up skateboarding, and I got pretty competitive into that for a while, and it was just a way for me and my brother to really kind of connect and me hang out with him. Okay. So, um, you know, when you were a kid, you know, people say, hey, I want to be a fireman, I want to be an astronaut. Like, what, what was your thing? What did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, something to do with athletics. I didn't know what. I just knew that I knew from, from a, a, a real young age that I was going to be some sort of professional athlete for sure. Okay. So uh, as far as your professional career goes, you've been kind of on the scene and traveling for several mm-hmm. years now. Um, as a matter of fact, you, so you were at the beginning of the, of the, the birth of Prodigy. You were in on the, on right. the ground floor there. Um, and there's been a couple different iterations of where people's contracts at Prodigy have run out and they've had the option to re-sign or uh, look for different sponsorship. This off season, you were kind of one of the big free agents. Uh, and so you had that opportunity to leave, but you, you decided to stick with Prodigy. What was it about them that, that drew you back? Uh, you know, what did you want to be a part of that, that they were doing? You know, there's there's a lot of things. I mean, you know, loyalty is one thing, and, and I feel like that, that word gets tossed around a little loosely. Um, as a professional a- athlete, your loyalty is to your career. You know what I mean? But there is something to to that at the same time to where – if I'm getting offered something from another company and it's and it's, you know, similar to what I'm getting offered, project, I'm going to stay. You know, um, like you said, I've been there since since the beginning, and uh, one of the main main reasons, honestly, is I love my bag. I don't think I've been this comfortable with a bag, uh, even even before when I, you know, I, I've been sponsored by Discraft, Innova, now Prodigy for for the last five years, and I was with Innova for four years. And I wasn't as comfortable as I am now. And, you know, I feel like I'm close to winning a major. And so for me to get up and switch would be a big time career choice. And that's not something that I'm willing to do. Sure. For your, for your age, you, you seem to be pretty wise, pretty mature. And you're looking down the road, kind of past your disc golf career, more than some of your competitors sure. are. Um, so how do you, um, with the financial side of the disc golf tour right now, I mean, outside of probably Ricky and Paul, nobody's buying houses and cars and things like sure. that with all of their winnings. So how do you, how do you balance, you know, having a good time and enjoying this plus also making sure that you're saving money and preparing for your right. life ahead? Well, you know, the one thing that I do want to hit on, especially for the younger kids listening is, is you're right. It's not all candy canes and lollipops out here, you know, it gets stressful. Um, and there are, there are very few success stories. There really is, you know, it's a, it's a grind and uh, luckily I was one of them to where, you know, I've had a pretty successful career. Um, one thing I want to say is, is you can, you know, it takes a long time to earn a good reputation. It takes like one second to ruin it. Mm-hmm. And that's something that I've really focused on is not burning bridges and, you know, being respectful because you can't make it out here by yourself. You know, you need a lot of help from a lot of people. You need help from people putting you up, you know, the tournament directors. And so, you know, with the new generation, just 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 be wise, like you said, and 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 pick your battles because you never know when that person, whoever it is, you're picking that battle with, is running the world championships or doing this or doing something to where your fate's kind of in their hands. So um, that's one thing that I've really focused on is just um, you know being really respectful to everybody in the game, trying to be. And uh, as far as my future, you know, my future is disc golf, like. I have no doubt that this is what I'll be doing for the rest of my life, really. Um, and and it's it's our job at, at the level that I'm playing at right now to make sure that it keeps growing for people in the future, too. So, um, yeah. You know, I like to hang out with my family uh, as much as possible. You know, it, that's another thing, like being on the road. You know, I have nieces and nephews that, uh, you know, I barely know. 
you know, I'm constantly on the road. And so when I'm home, I, I, I want to spend as much time as possible with them, okay. which isn't a lot. Sure. Um, as far as on the, on the tour, mm -hmm. who is, who's your favorite person to play around with? Who's your favorite person that's on the tour, like off the course? Who do you who do you enjoy hanging out with? I, you know, that's a good that's a good question. I think my favorite people to play with. I love playing with Nate Doss. Um, just his professionalism and, and things that he brings to the court on the course. Um, I I feel like he's helped me a lot in 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 like the way that I act and, and, and things like that. So I really enjoy playing with him because he can bring a competitive side to the course um, along with rooting you on and stuff. It, he's, he's the type of player that when he beats you, he wants you to be playing well. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not like um, complete grinders. Off the course, you know, my best friend right now is Jer Jeremy Colling. He's been my best friend for a long time. You say right now? <laughs> yeah. Something changing? Well, no. <laughs> At any point, something can change with that guy. <laughs> So we gotta keep, yeah, we definitely gotta keep, uh, I gotta keep a close eye on that one. <laughs>